All right, guys, so we're back with another video, guys and girls. Um, today we're talking about what to do if your blood pressure will not go down. There's many different causes for blood pressure. It could be you're eating a bunch of really salty stuff. It could be you're getting no exercise. Uh, it could be a lot of things, or it could be genetic. We're gonna focus on that a little bit more today. Uh, how do you know if your blood pressure is genetic? Or how do you know if you're doing something wrong, essentially, right? Uh, there is no specific genetic link to determine high blood pressure, right? Been spent about two hours in this today researching and really taken a lot from many people, many forums, many write-ups, and my own knowledge. Uh, in case you didn't know, I have genetic high blood pressure, right? I've had that for probably most of my life. Just really noticed it in 2018. And here we are in 2024, halfway through 2024. So it's been a journey. Been on every blood pressure medication known to man, every variant of it. I think, I can't remember, 15 or 16 or 17 different types in, six, seven doctors in. Whatever resolve I had from that has been very short and very small, and my blood pressure just continues to stay high. And for me personally, I feel the best. My blood pressure is 130s to 140s on top and low to mid 90s on the bottom. That's just where I feel the best, right? Um, the thing is, if you have parents that have high blood pressure, if you have a mother, if one parent that has it, your chances are 50-50 shot of inheriting that gene if their blood pressure is genetic. If you have two parents that have it and they're both genetic high blood pressure, you're probably going to have it, but it's not guaranteed. Um, you know, as I said, if your body wants to be, your genetic trait is your body wants to be, let's say 145 over 95. At that blood pressure, you will feel the best. If you've already tried eating better and exercise, and no matter what, you seem to level out within five or 10 points of that number. That very well could be, from the research we've done here, where your body wants to operate at. Now, if you go on any, look up anything on it or ask any doctor, they're gonna say, nope, 120 over 80. You know, that's what was set, the preset, what was that, about 10 years ago? We went from 140 over 90 to 120 over 80. And every doctor since then said, you gotta be 120 over 80 or below. Some people are like that. Some people are way lower. Some people are way higher. Not everybody's the same. And sometimes when you try to force those numbers down, it causes big, big problems. If i taken pills before and at short term, I've got it down to 120 over 80 or below. And I felt like I was so tired I couldn't even move. My body's not supposed to be at that. I fully understand that now. Um, and trying to force those numbers down could be, you know, hazardous to your health. You know, I fully think if I kept taking the blood pressure medicines I was taking, I would not be sitting here right now. I'd be six foot under, right? You could just kind of tell that's the way things were gonna go. Um, by not taking those anymore, I felt like I was reborn, like a different person, like I woke up from a coma since 2018. I just woke up and I'm just like, holy crap, my brain works again. I could think right, I could function right. I'm still old and tired, don't, don't let me confuse you. Still old and tired, but not near to the degree as what I was before. The vision clarity now and the mental clarity is crazy, you know? I thought the other day I was having some vision problems. I was like, man, I can't see very good. Oh yeah, I forgot this time of year when everything's blooming. Gotta put the eye drops in once a day. Um, and that cleared it right up instantly. Thought I was going blind, but I wasn't. Been fine ever since. Um, your genetic blood pressure is just like a height or a weight. If you have two parents of the same body type of a bigger stature, 
you could have the genetic, you probably will have a genetic trait and look like them. If your parents are both very small, you guys have seen this before. The couple's out somewhere and they're two short, thin people have short, thin kids. If there's two really tall people have a kid, the kid's probably gonna be tall. Not guaranteed, but pretty good chance that will happen. And as long as you can operate healthy and happy at a certain blood pressure, as long as it's not extreme, there may not be a reason to force it down, right? And especially the, the pills where it's making you sick. Let me say this, right? I have to say this for YouTube legality. I'm not a doctor. Don't go stop taking your blood pressure medicine and fall over dead and blame Nathan. That's not what this is. I'm just saying, if your blood pressure is slightly elevated, under 150 on the top, and low to mid 90s on the bottom, and you've been trying to force it down with pills, that may not be the way to go. I can't tell you guys what to do or what not to do. If you wanna try a natural way to go about that, I'll put a link in the description for the krill oil, which I'm taking. If you wanna try the $8 Celtic salt, you could try that. The last video I posted was about Celtic salt. Every little bit helps with that. You still need to eat healthy just for your other general health. You can't be at McDonald's every day and all kinds of crazy stuff. Roll up a whole stick of summer sausage. That'll get you every time. Don't do that. Um, yeah, so genetic blood pressure usually is the case when you tried everything and nothing seems to work. And if the pills did work, they made you feel horribly sick or extremely tired when it did slightly lower it. Everything with me, if a pill did work, it didn't work for long, usually about a first week, week and a half, and it would go from being kind of okay to not working or the side effects would be so extreme you couldn't function. Um, the other thing is to make sure you're taking your blood pressure correctly. And when you go to the doctor, they're probably not checking it right. You really need to have at your house a blood pressure cuff. Getting it checked to the doctor randomly is not good enough. Like I said, I'll put my links in this description, this video for the cuff I use, I think it's 40 bucks. It's actually a battery operated arm cuff. We know that works. We know that works, right? That cuff. If you have any question, what's good, what's bad, go buy that one, that does work. Go get the krill oil. That'll help you function really good. That's not a lot of money for your health, right? If you go to the doctor once, look how much office visit costs you and how much the medicine costs, right? Um, yeah, like I said, everyone's not capable of being 120 over 80 and below. And uh, you have to check your blood pressure correctly. If you go to the doctor, as I was just saying a while ago, we got sidetracked, and you walk in the back, they slap the cuff on your arm, your arm is dangling by your side, like it is in my doctor, nothing against my doctor, I'm just saying, and they take your blood pressure and it's high. Yeah, no crap. The whole purpose of taking your blood pressure, your arm is supposed to be heart level, right? Even that's a little bit too low. It's supposed to be like that. Feet flat on the floor, it's supposed to be resting within five minutes and then take it. Now, you could also do the deep breathing thing that'll lower your blood pressure. My best way to take mine is to close my eyes and try to relax and click the button and take it. If any point in time, my brain starts thinking about something or there's any kind of noise or the TV's on or the computer's playing something or somebody's talking, that blood pressure reading is done. It's not gonna, it's gonna read high because my brain goes to whatever it is in the room, subconsciously. Um, you know, it's just very particular. The way they check blood pressure is not great. And you can read up on that too. A lot of people say the same thing as I do on that. It does modestly work for some stuff, but a bad blood pressure cuff Anything that goes in your wrist is horrible or a bad cuff for your arm uh, could be giving you false readings. 
right? And you go to the doctor and you say, well, my blood pressure has been this at home. But if you're not taking it right, you're going the right kind of gauge to take it with. You go back to report your doctor and say, oh yeah, it's been this, this, and this, this whole month. And they're like, oh my God, but there's actually nothing wrong with you. You're just not checking it correctly. There's so many variables. A lot of people don't pay attention to blood pressure stuff, how you check it, how you take it. A lot of people can't be bothered with that. My advice, you better be bothered with it because the other outcome is not good. You need to stay on top of your own health. If we just had this with somebody we know and love, when you get older, whether it's uh, a nurse or a VA, somebody comes to your house, maybe you're in a home or maybe you're in the hospital and somebody else is handling your pills. Be very damn careful with that because the doctor tells them what to do, they pack your pills and then you get it. That puts three people in the loop. The more hands on your pills before you put them in your mouth, the chances are of stuff getting mess messed up or mixed up is great. Is great. And that's just my personal experience this week with somebody we know. Be very cautious of that if you're older and you're relying on somebody else to fill your pills, if it's your daughter or um, grandkids, or just make sure they're doing everything correct. If you're not feeling good, you know you take one of these pills and you don't feel good, talk to your doctor about it, get it sorted out. There's so many different pills with so many different stuff. You could be taking the wrong thing for what you need at this minute. I was on that list here for the last six years, right? Taking the wrong mess in the wrong time. This, everything's wrong. That's it, guys. I'll stop rambling on. Thank you all so much for watching the videos. We've helped a lot of people with these videos. We're going to keep on doing that. Everybody's bitching about not putting videos about cars. But the car thing for me is taking a back seat for this. Helping people out with their health is taking front seat. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow with another video.